right how's it all you people out there um, so due to popular demand I've had a lot of requests um, with regards to uh, common problems or mishaps that people especially outdoor growers encounter um, with their cannabis plants so um, for the video today I've decided to, to use my um, outdoor super cheese satava um, as an example of a couple of things that you might encounter um, during your outdoor growth period. So um, the first thing I want to show you guys is um, commonly known as a nutrient burn. So if you take a look over here um, on this you can see let me just focus in on that here. You see the yellow edges all around the all around the leaf. Um, this is known as a nutrient burn because either the it's because the um, ground is over nutritious. So um, people have this common belief that the more nutrients you throw into the soil or mix with the soil for your plant, the stronger and better it's going to grow and the better the buds are going to be. Um, but the reality of the fact or the matter, guys, is that it's possible to over um, to make your soil over nutritious, which is harmful for your plant, which, as you can see, um, results in a nutrient burn. And um, that means that there's less chlor chlorophyll in the leaves, so less sun is absorbed, so the buds aren't as nice or as dense or as big as it normally would have been. So um, my suggestion to you guys is to keep um, the compost or the nutrients that you mix in with the soil um, on average. Don't overdo it and don't underdo it. Um, n second thing um, that's also common, if you take a look over here, this on this plant right over here, let focus, there you go. Um, you can see this white over here. Um, this is commonly known as um, some, it's called, uh, no, I forgot. It's something mild you. Um, it's a result of your plant, either it gets too hot and too humid and then um, it, or it gets too cold and then your plant is hurt um, by all of this. And the, also lack of wind. So a couple of outdoor uh, planters, planters they grow their plants amongst heaps of sand or like that it's covered from its surroundings so it doesn't get a lot of um, wind etc etc and it's important um, because the wind and the direct sunlight not and it also please guys ensure that you plant your plant in an area for example if you plant it next to a mountain where it gets very humid you know your plants gonna start suffering so also when you grow your plant or when you plant your plant make sure you plant it in an area that's suitable so where it gets enough direct sunlight and enough um, wind you know just a normal environment uh, thirdly guys is if you take a look on this plant for example over here this leaves over here you see you could see those white spots if you look closely there are a couple of white spots um, there are a couple of pro uh, reasons for that um, it's because some some people claim that, um, that it's mite infestation, infestation which means there are a couple of mites if you look under the leaves you might see them or a couple of webs that's the result of um, spider mites and you get normal mites that climb onto the plant and they're harmful for your plant as you can see they leave white spots etc etc uh, they start eating away at the edges of the leaves and my suggestion to you guys is to get a neem solution and spray it onto your plant about three to four weeks but also this is in the growing phase um, obviously when it starts uh, when you reach the flowering stage where buds are starting to grow you don't want to mix too much chemicals in with the buds so you, then you start slowing down on the neem that you spray on but it's important guys start looking after your plant while it's still young um, keep it keep it in a nice area enough wind uh, keep it watered but not too much water you don't want to leave water residue on the leaves and then you get calcium burns which are also can also be a result of those white spots or reason for those white spots um, keep them watered keep them strong um, don't over don't make your soil, soil over nutritious and yeah guys keep it growing and remember please guys not too much water not too little water not too much nutrients not too little nutrients not too much sun not too little sun keep it real